All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of four is equal to four. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by subtracting four on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of four minus four is equal to zero. Now, I'm gonna rewrite four here as two squared. So now I have x to the power of four minus two squared is equal to zero. And I'm gonna rewrite x to the power of four as x to the power of two times two. So I have x to the power of two times two minus two squared is equal to zero. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of two times two, I can rewrite that as x to the power of two to the power of two minus two squared is equal to zero. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is two. So I have x squared plus two times x squared minus two is equal to zero. Now, this gives me two equations. I get x squared plus two is equal to zero and I also get x squared minus two is equal to zero. So to start for x squared plus two equals zero, I'm going to subtract two on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I'm left with x squared is equal to zero minus two, which is negative two. Now I'm gonna take the square root on both sides. So I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative two. The square root of x squared is obviously x, so I have x is equal to positive and negative square root of negative two. And the square root of negative two, I can rewrite this as the square root of two times the square root of negative one. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative one is equal to the imaginary number i. So I have x is equal to positive negative square root of two i. Now for this one, I have x squared minus two equals zero. This time I'm going to add two on both sides. These two cancel out and I get x squared is equal to two. And now I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x. So I get x is equal to positive negative square root of two. So now to check, sorry, that is actually, those are our four solutions to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14 is equal to 36. So I'm first gonna rewrite this as x to the power of seven times three plus x to the power of seven times two is equal to 36. Now, I'm gonna put this as x to the power of seven to the power of three plus x to the power of seven to the power of two is equal to 36. Now I can let x to the power of seven equal to the variable y. And I have y to the power of three plus y squared is equal to 36. Now, if I subtract 36 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get y to the power of three plus y squared minus 36 is equal to zero. Now, negative 36, I can rewrite this as negative 27 minus nine. And now I can rewrite this as y to the power of three minus three to the power of three plus y squared minus three squared is equal to zero. So if I have something in form a to the power of three minus b to the power of three, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. And if I have something in form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I can rewrite y to the power of three minus three to the power of three as y minus three times y squared plus three squared plus three y. Plus, I can rewrite y squared minus three squared as y plus three times y minus three, and this is equal to zero. Now if I factor out y minus three, I get y minus three times 
y squared plus 9 plus 3y plus y plus 3. This is equal to 0. And this is simplifies into y minus 3 times y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations, y minus 3 is equal to 0, which means y equals 3. This is one solution. And y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So to solve this, we have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And I'm not going to waste your time actually plugging them in, but if you do, you end up getting that it's less than 0, so this won't work out. So y equals 3 is my only solution to this equation. Now remember how we let x to the power of 7 equal y. So now I have x to the power of 7 equal 3, meaning x is equal to the 7th root of 3. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. So I'm going to first start by subtracting 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 squared. Now I have this minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 3 equal to the variable y. So now if I substitute an x to the power of 3 for y, or sorry, y for x to the power of 3, I get y squared minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now I'm going to factor this by rewriting this as y squared minus 2y plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor by grouping. So I have y times y minus 2 plus 1 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now if I factor out y minus 2, I get y minus 2 times y plus 1 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations, y minus 2 is equal to 0 and y plus 1 is equal to 0. For y minus 2 equals 0, y equals 2, and for y plus 1 equals 0, y equals negative 1. Now remember how we let x to the power of 3 equal y. So now I have x to the power of 3 is equal to 2, and x to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1. So for x to the power of 3 equals 2, you can simply take the cube root on both sides. So now I have x is equal to the cube root of 2. And for x to the power of 3 equals negative 1, again, I'm going to take the cube root on both sides. So I get x is equal to the cube root of negative 1. And the cube root of negative 1 is simply negative 1. So I have x is equal to negative 1. So these are my two solutions to this problem.